Back in 2011, Turner was asked how he would describe his own political legacy, and, and here's what he told Peter Mansbridge. Any legacy, I hope, would be a legacy of example. Committed to public life and public service. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And that means in a free society, in a free country, contributing to electoral politics as well as bureaucratic politics. But Parliament is supreme. Let's go back to Magna Carta. Democracy, Peter, does not happen by accident. Some of the same themes we've been hearing about Turner tonight, who he was as a politician and a person. Peter, of course, spent decades covering Turner's career, and it's really nice having you on The National tonight. Uh, you know, as we hear John Turner say the things he said to you in the interview, they, you know, you don't often hear politicians maybe these days using those kinds of terms, but that very much is who John Turner was. Very much what he was and who he was. He talked, he always talked about democracy in the sense that it doesn't happen by accident. He tried to instill in others, and especially young people, that if you believe in democracy and you want democracy to survive, you've got to participate in public service. Uh, th and this is something that he'd obviously shown throughout his life. He grew up with a life of privilege. I mean, he went to private schools. He was uh, a Rhodes Scholar. He went to Oxford. He was a great athlete. I think there was a time in which he even held the record for the Canadian record for the 100-yard dash. Uh, but he decided he wanted to go into politics. He decided he wanted to one day become prime minister. And he became prime minister, the 17th prime minister of Canada. Now, it was short-lived, and it wasn't a good particular time in his life. He didn't handle the situation well. He'd been out of public life for about 10 years, and a lot of change in politics between the mid-70s and the mid-80s, and it passed him by. And when he came back, he got trapped in a number of areas uh, that he just didn't handle well. And so when given the chance, when earned the prime ministership, he lost it almost immediately. I think for a lot of people this weekend, that's all they see about him as they read the one paragraph description. But tell us a little bit more about his public service. Well, and it would be a shame if, if, if we looked at John Turner and only saw those two and a half months, I think it was. Uh, he had been a, a, a cabinet minister early in the 1960s. Lester Pearson appointed him into the cabinet in 1963, I think. And he, uh, by 1970, he was the Minister of Justice through the October crisis. He was the Minister of Finance after that through a difficult period with the economy because of oil prices uh, and, uh, and some early deficits that uh, he had to try and manage. He left on a matter of principle, which was all part of public service too. He had campaigned in 1974 against wage and price controls. In 1975, uh, his prime minister, Pierre Trudeau, instituted wage and price controls. And while he didn't make a big public scene about it, it was clear that that was part of the reason he got out of public life in the mid-70s. It's a nice reminder that for some politicians, maybe many politicians, public service is very much motivation. Peter, thank you very much. Thanks, Ian. Good to talk to you.